While former President Trump is in Pennsylvania today, he'll be attending an event focusing on China's threat to American farmers. This is an issue that could have overarching impacts to the U.S. and our supply chain. And as the story News Nation has been covering for the past two years, attending heated town hall meetings where everyday Americans are fighting against one of the world's most powerful nations. So in about an hour, the former president is expected to join a nonprofit in Smithton, Pennsylvania, with concerns about China's potential risk to America's farms. And that's where senior correspondent Brian Inton joins us live there in Pennsylvania. Brian, how serious is this issue? Yeah, it's serious, Nicole. I mean, we've seen it with our own eyes, even when you take politics out of it. We've been investigating the issue across the country uh, in states all the way from California to the middle of the country over to Maine, where there are these Chinese companies coming in uh, and buying up U.S. farmland. And the companies will say, look, uh, we don't have any connection to the Communist Party. But when you dig into their corporate records, many times what we found is they do have an allegiance to the Communist Party. Uh, we're here on this family farm. We're about an hour or so outside Pittsburgh. We know that President Trump is on the ground already in Pennsylvania. He's on his way out here uh, to hold this round table about the issue. Uh, and again, it, it, it's happening all over the country. In Michigan, there's a, a battery plant there that the community's fighting, uh, trying to stop that has ties uh, to communist China. We were in North Dakota, where there was a company called Fufeng that was trying to build a plant right near an Air Force base. The military had to come in at the last second and say, wait a minute, this is a national security issue. Uh, you were showing pictures a little while ago from Oklahoma. We were out in Oklahoma just a couple months ago, Nicole. Remember, they had those Chinese underground secret pot farms there. You've got Chinese migrants sneaking across the border, and then they end up in Oklahoma, and there's now this black market weed operation that's causing problems there. So, uh, again, even if you take the politics out of it, it's definitely an issue uh, in America right now, Nicole. So, Ryan, where does China actually own the most farmland here in the U.S.? Yeah, I want to show you the list because some of the states may surprise you. Um, number one right now uh, is Texas. There's about 191,000 Chinese-owned uh, land acres there. You've also got North Carolina at the top of the list, Missouri, Utah, Virginia, Florida, Arizona, California, Washington. Again, it stretches across the whole country. What's interesting and what I think people don't realize is that there's no federal law prohibiting these Chinese companies from coming in and buying up the land, even companies with, with ties to the Chinese government. Uh, several states have now put laws in place. So there's some state laws, like in Florida, for example, they've made it difficult for the Chinese to come in and buy land. Uh, but right now, there's no federal law. So, Ryan, what about the other side of this? Have we heard anything from Democrats from the Kamala Harris campaign on potentially combating this issue? Yeah, they haven't said much in terms of specific policies. You know, Trump has said outright that he would ban the Chinese from buying up any more farmland. Exactly how he would do that, he hasn't given a specific plan either. Maybe uh, in a little while when he gets here to this farm and, and gives his speech, we'll get a little more specifics. In terms of Kamala Harris, though, uh, when it was announced that, that Trump was going to be here talking about it today, uh, her team did put out a statement uh, reacting to that. I want to read you a little part of it. They said, despite all his lies and pandering, Donald Trump used the the White House to give uh, handouts to wealthy corporations and foreign companies at the expense of family farmers, drive farm bankruptcies to record levels, and sacrifice small American farmers as pawns in his failed trade war with China. Uh, so, the, so the, the trade war during the Trump, Trump years, when it comes to farmers, it was an issue. I mean, you talk to farmers who love Trump, and they admit, uh, you know. They had some rough times because of it. But what, what's not addressed in that statement also, though, is during the Trump years in 2019, there were two consecutive years of really, really bad weather, like the worst weather ever for farmers, uh, which was really the main reason we're told that the bankruptcy number went, went up so high uh, when Trump was in office. Nicole. All right. Brian Inton reporting live for us there in Pennsylvania. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.